North Korea conducted its first missile launch of the year this afternoon, firing two projectiles towards the East Sea. Its most recent launch was 95 days ago. Our Defense Ministry correspondent Kim ji Yun has the details. South Korea's Joint Chiefs of Staff has confirmed that North Korea fired two short-range bullets and missiles from Wonsan towards the East Sea on Monday afternoon at around 12.37 p.m. The Joint Chiefs said the maximum flight altitude was some 35 kilometers and the flight distance was around 240 kilometers. It said they were fired some 20 seconds apart from transporter erector launchers. The South Korean military is currently monitoring the situation while maintaining a defense posture in case of additional launches and is closely working with the U.S. to verify more information about this latest launch. The Joint Chiefs called for the North to refrain from engaging in such actions that do not help in lowering military tensions on the Korean Peninsula. That message was reiterated by Chong Ade, which convened an emergency meeting of security related ministers Monday afternoon, presided over by National Security Director Chong Yong to discuss the missile launch. It also expressed strong concern about North Korea's continued strike drills around Wonsan initiated last Friday. The Joint Chiefs sees the recent move as a way for the North Korean regime to consolidate power within North Korea. A South Korean military source says the timing of the launch signifies that the coronavirus situation in North Korea is actually so serious that could even threaten the stability of the regime, although the North has claimed that it does not have a single confirmed case. The latest launch also comes despite the postponement by South Korea and the U.S. of the combined command post training that was initially slated for later this month. Kim Ji-yeon, Arirang News.